Schistosomiasis is a debilitating disease of poverty, affecting more than 200 million people worldwide, mainly in tropical and subtropical countries. The life cycle of Schistosoma species worms is complex, and alternates between a final vertebrate, often human host, where the adult worms live and reproduce sexually, and an intermediate freshwater snail host where the larval stages of the worms develop via asexual reproduction. The paired adult worms release many barbed eggs which cause internal damage as they move through and exit the body. When these eggs enter the water, they hatch into myricidia, which infect other snails and cause them to begin producing more invective cercari, which can then repeat the cycle and re-enter humans once again. These intermediate snail hosts that schistosome parasites require to infect humans have limited thermoregulation ability and, consequently, their reproduction, survival, and dispersal in the environment can be influenced even by small changes in temperature. Due to this sensitivity, projected climate change is expected to significantly alter the distribution and abundance of these vector snails, and, as a consequence of this, alter the infection risk for the human population as well. Changes in land use are already occurring, in particular, an accelerated development of water management infrastructure projects, such as dams and irrigation systems, which increase suitable habitat for the vector snails, while often extirpating their natural migratory enemies, such as freshwater prawns, crayfish, and several fish species. In this project, we intend to investigate the combined effects of changes in climate and land use on the distribution of schistosomiasis in Cote d'Ivoire and in Brazil, two countries particularly vulnerable to this disease as a consequence of their tropical climates being ideal for vector snails, their regions of persistent poverty, and a shared history of both significant deforestation along with an unprecedented rate of dam building in recent decades. Our project has three objectives. First, we will account for the most relevant socioeconomic and environmental drivers of schistosomiasis by integrating species distribution and temperature-driven, process-based mathematical models of the parasite and its intermediate snail hosts. This hybrid approach will produce maps of present and future risk for schistosomiasis under multiple climate change scenarios, which can then be used by stakeholders to evaluate the effect any changes in land use or hydrogeography will have on local rates of schistosomiasis. Second, we intend to evaluate the sustained long-term control of schistosomiasis under various climate change scenarios by conducting feasibility studies of farming freshwater snail predator species native to Cote d'Ivoire and to Brazil. Two different types of predator species will be evaluated for practical use as biological control agents of schistosome host snails. These studies will involve analyses of regional markets and of local malnutrition, and will be aimed towards the sustained control of schistosomiasis in endemic communities, while concurrently promoting the socioeconomic development of small-scale aquaculture in these regions of persistent poverty. Third, in order to track future changes in the distribution and abundance of the snail hosts, we will develop machine learning algorithms that enable the use of computer vision as a type of environmental diagnostic tool for the quick and accurate identification of snails and parasites of medical importance from field-acquired images. With this project, we intend to provide a reference framework to investigate the environmental determinants of a wide family of other snail-borne and soil-transmitted helminthiases, such as fasciolysis, periodontomyosis, and other helminth infections that affect over 1.5 billion of the world's poorest people. In addition, to facilitate the transition from knowledge to action and increase the impact of our project outside the academic world, we intend to develop a user-friendly, freely available software tool to evaluate the future risk of schistosomiasis associated with any proposed development of water management infrastructure. And finally, with this project, we intend to train postdoctoral, graduate, and undergraduate students in the United Kingdom, the United States, Brazil, and Cote d'Ivoire, as well as develop activities promoting primary and secondary education and increased awareness of schistosomiasis.